We'll come back to MSI BIOS walkthrough. This time, let's talk about Hardware Monitor in BIOS. Hardware Monitor is a very useful tool which allows you to customize fan curve. In BIOS Easy Mode, you can find Hardware Monitor at the bottom left. In BIOS Advanced Mode, Hardware Monitor should be at the right column. Top left section here, you can select which temperature source you want to display on the graph below. Top right section here is for you to switch from different fan headers. The amount of fan headers that shows here is based on your motherboard. Middle section here is where you can customize your fan curve. You can set fan control mode to PWM mode or DC mode. To choose from these two modes, I suggest you go by what type of fan you have. Normally, a 3-pin plug fan is DC controlled and fan speed is modulated by lower or higher voltages. A 4-pin plug fan is PWM controlled, and fan speed is modulated by the 4th pin which is used to receive PWM signal. You can pause the video if you want to know more about pin configuration. Moving on, here you can choose temperature source for your fan curve. I will select CPU temperature as temperature source for my CPU fan and some of my system fan. Fan step up and step down time offer value from 0.1 second to 1 second. Shorter step time means fan will take shorter time to reach expected fan RPM, which is suitable for CPU fan since CPU might go half fast when under load. Longer step time means fan will take a little bit longer time to reach expected fan RPM which is suitable for a system fan since you might not want your system fan to ramp up and down drastically. The rest are very straightforward, but on section here is where you can monitor your system temperature and voltages. Speaking of custom fan curve, the goal is to optimize the curve based on your hardware configuration and using scenario. The first step is to enable smart fan mode, which allows you to adjust fan curve with four nodes. Take CPU fan curve for example. I use the first node to decide how much airflow I want when CPU is idle. Because my CPU temperature sits around 30 degrees Celsius in idle state, I will set it at 30 degrees Celsius with a few but enough fan duty cycle. You should check the minimum speed of your fan when setting fan duty cycle for the first node since some fan might not run below 20% fan duty cycle. Now the first node is done, I will adjust the fourth node, which I use for CPU fan full speed. This node should be the safety measure for your PC when CPU is overheated. Moving to the third node, this one is for CPU under full load such as gaming scenario. You can play some games and monitor CPU temperature, and then fine tune the fan duty cycle. The second node is for CPU under light workload such as browsing internet, or watching video. You can just pick an in-between value here. For system fan curve, the concept is pretty much the same. Just pay attention to the fan noise level as well, and find the best balance between noise and cooling performance. I highly recommend you to set your primary fan curves in BIOS. To compare with fan control apps in OS, BIOS fan curve doesn't require background process to run all the time and it is harder to be messed up by other running software. To save your custom fan curves, the overclocking profile saving function in BIOS can keep fan curve settings as well. Just press F9 to save and press F8 to load profile. But if you want to have extra fan curve or even some fan curve presets, you can try to use MSI Central to achieve that. I will demonstrate how to do it in the next video. Thanks for watching.